heaven. And I was like, huh. Well, how many in your room, how many got your denomination right now? Oh, it's like three million people all around the world. I said, that's not the people that have gone before. So, well, you know, you met your quota already. 144,000. You done made the quota. God is not even trying to try for this. Understand. Thank God it's not how many doors you got to knock on. Thank God it's not what family you came from. Or, you know, or how much money you had. Or how intelligent you are. Whatever. How much work you do for them. God loves us just the same. And in fact, and I'm going to close on this, the Bible says for God to love the world. He didn't say in the church. He didn't say that God loved the Christians. He loved the world and our sin and our nastiness and, 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 and wretchedness. He loved us the same way he loves us now. He loved us the same way he loved the church. The way he loved Paul the Apostle. The way he loved John the Beloved. He loves us the same. He's going to reward us the same according to his grace that Christ died on the cross for us, each and every one of us. The Bible says, well, we yet sinners Christ died for us. Isn't that right? Yeah. You can't ever get yourself good enough for God. Right. Don't come telling me all I here together. I come no, God wants you just the way you are. You can't ever be good enough yeah. for God. Because my good works are filthiness to the Lord, right? Yeah. Yeah. The best I can do stinks in the nostrils. That's why we need his grace. And thank God he's given each and every one of us grace. Yeah. That's a loving God. Yeah. It's time to show that same grace towards each other. Yeah. Let that grace that God has uh, given towards us, let that shine in your life yeah. each and every day. Wherever you may be. Amen. That's a nutshell. Amen. 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 Bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning to our team family here in the building and on Facebook. I'm here to give the stewardship message for the day. And I'll be reading out of Matthew 6, verse 19 through 21. Do not lay, lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, uh -huh. for where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Right. When I read this, and thinking about the fact that we're talking about stewardship, it kind of seems like I got a little chuckle out of it. Like, okay, so are you telling me I'm like purchasing my furniture from a mansion in heaven while I'm here, or like, what are we doing? <laughs> no, it's, it's not that. It's not just works, and it's not about the money. Yeah. It's about the act, amen? amen. It's about the obedience. Yeah. It's about honoring God with what he has given us. It's about honoring his word and what he's asked us to do, amen? amen. Things that you decide to do with your time and your talent and even your treasure shows God where your heart is. It shows God whether you are truly listening and, 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 and investing in your relationship with him, yeah. or are you investing in your flesh? Huh. Are you walking around thinking about just me, 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 and my, 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 and oh, I got this and I need this, or yeah. hmm, I don't have as much time. I don't have a lot of money, but I know that the Lord loves when I honor him. Yes. I know yes. that this will build my relationship with him. I know that I will see those treasures in heaven by obeying him. Yes. It's not about how much you have to give. It can be five minutes. Uh -huh. right. Go visit somebody. Yes, yes. It can be two pennies. Dig in the body of your yes. purse. Right. I know you got it in the back of your pocket somewhere. <laughs> God blessed the woman with one mite yeah. because... It's not about how much she had to give. It's the fact that she gave out of her lack. That's right. That's right. In obedience yeah. and honor and reverence to God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So I just encourage you all today to search your hearts. What can I do for God? And not what necessarily can I get out of it. But do know that God has promised that you will have treasure in heaven. Amen? Amen. Don't let that be the only reason why you do it. We don't do it to get something. That's right. We do it because we love God. Yeah. We do it because we honor our relationship yeah. with God. Yeah. We do it because can nobody do us better than God can. Yeah. We do it because even if he did nothing else, he's already done enough. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. And I say all these things, it's just, it's just good. Amen? Amen? It's just good. So we have multiple ways to give here. I'm going to talk about the, the treasure part, but also... There are ways to give your time and your talent here at the temple, amen? If you would like to know about those methods, please speak to either V or Martine, and they know where the, those time and, and that talent can be applied here, amen. amen? But our ways to give our treasures through credit or debit card right here in the back before you exit the sanctuary. 
through Zell at pastorlady.ss uh, at gmail.com. Or you can visit our website, TODWC.org, and press the Give button. Or if you're old school, you can still give cash or a check here in the box. It's right next to the uh, debit card swiper thing. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna pray over the I'm gonna pray over the uh, the tithes and the offerings this morning. Good morning, Abba Father. Lord God, we just wanna ask you first for forgiveness of anything that we've said, done, or thought that was not pleasing unto you, Father God. The last thing we want to do is just run our mouths and like the prayers are not even falling into your ears, Father God. We want to be right in the position with you, Father God, that you may hear our cry. But we don't come asking for any, Father, anything, Father God, because you've already done enough. We just come to thank you. We come to honor you. We come to give you glory. We come to edify our relationship with you, Father God. We come to lift you on high today, Lord God. Lord, I'm asking that you touch the blessings and the gifts that were given throughout the weekend today, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for the givers. Lord, I thank you for those who had a desire to give but may not have had enough to give, Father God. And I'm asking you bless them according to your will that they may be able to do so at a later time, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you break financial chains right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I need you to free your people's pockets, Father God, that they may be able to pour into your kingdom, Lord God, like you have blessed in their hearts to do, Father God, like you have purpose for us to do. We are not here just aimlessly round and about, Lord God. We have a mission. We have a destination. And that destination is to your throne, Lord God, to be able to sing holy, holy in your presence, Lord God. Lord, I'm asking that you let the blessings and the gifts that were given, Father God, be applied as you see fit, Lord God. As you see fit, Lord God, to build up this ministry, to, to build up this community, Lord God, that this ministry is a part of. And we thank you right now for the opportunity to give. We thank you for placing a heart in us to give, Father God. Lord, we love you and we adore you. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Psalm says, take me to the water. Right, yeah. Hallelujah. Glory, Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Thank you, Lord. Come on and give that hand for Come on.
Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. This is the moment, this is the time and the service that we that we call all to prayer. I know I like everybody's going through things. We want to, we want to lift up our leaders today. Yes. You know, uh, anybody, all our congregation that's out sick and not feeling well and dealing with illnesses and dealing with sicknesses, Lord, we're lifting them up. I want to uh, call up the congregation today so we can all have an altar call and altar prayer and anything that we're dealing with in our minds and our bodies and our hearts. Please bring it to the altar and let the Lord. He said, ask and we shall receive. Search and we shall find. Knock at the door and it shall be open, Lord Jesus. We serve a, a, a master that knows all our desires and all our needs. He knows us better than we know ourselves. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus, I praise you and I thank you, Father. Lord, any of us that dealing with any situation, circumstances, Father, that you know, we don't want to discuss with nobody else, we can go to Jesus because he always knows our thoughts. He knows everything that we're dealing with, mind, body, and soul. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, praise you, Jesus. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, Lord. We first of all lift up our leaders to you, Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus. And, and, and the sickness, Father, that's going on around flus and, and, and illnesses, Lord. We break those bondage and those strongholds, Lord Jesus. Lord, we, we claim healing in the name of Jesus. You said, ask and we shall receive, Father. We break all, break all sicknesses, Lord. We bring it to your feet, Father. Lord, anything that we're dealing with in our minds and our, and our thoughts, Lord Jesus, that's not of you, Father. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we also, Father, lift up our, our finances and our household, Lord. Any disagreements we might be going through, any thoughts, Lord Jesus, that's hindering us, Father, any depression, any anxiety, anything that we're dealing with, Father, when we're not around, Lord, we lift it up and put it at your feet, Father. Lord, we ask, Father, that your spirit comfort us throughout this week, Lord. Allow us to get through this service, Lord, and walk out here and be examples to, to you, Lord. That anybody that comes in our path knows that we are children of God, Father. That they see the light on our, on our lives, Father. For we know, Father, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You said, for we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, Lord. But we claim victory in the name of Jesus. We claim victory of all things, Father. We say, to all things, Lord. Lord Jesus, work for the good of those who love the Lord, Father. Yeah. Right? So anything that we're going through in our lives, Father, we know, Lord Jesus, that you have the power yeah. to bring us through, Father. We know that you have the strength, Father. Yeah. But we, Lord, we are weak in ourselves, yeah. Father. But with you, we are strong, Lord yeah. Jesus. Yes, we ask, Father, that you continue throughout this week, Father, to give us strength and have mercy upon us and our yes, family. Yes, we pray for those out there that didn't make it to church this yes, morning. Lord. We pray for those in the streets, the homeless, yeah. the sick, yeah. the mentally, me mental anguish, Father. Father, yes, the, the, the people that has mental disorders, Lord Jesus, yes, people that are lost, Father, we ask that they come home to you, Lord. Yeah. You died for everybody, Father. You died for the entire world, yeah. Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. Yes, we know, Father, we serve a wonderful God. We serve a mighty God, yes, an awesome God, Father, for nothing's too big for you, Father. Nothing's too great for you, Lord Jesus. We ask, Lord Jesus, that, Lord Jesus, we bless the, the minister, the pastor today, Father, that his word hits our hearts and our souls, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, and we Lord. feel every single word, Lord. We ask Yes, Father, that all our, our members, Lord Jesus, whatever they're going through at home, Father, that you lift them up, Father, and give them your strength, Lord, you give them. And we thank you, Father, for everything that you do in our lives. You know our needs. You know our desires. Yes, you know our hearts, Lord. Yes, and help us and heal us, Lord. And I thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He is my pastor. He is my best friend. 
He is truly a man of God. And if you haven't heard any of his sermons, you are in for a treat, amen? amen. You are in for a special treat. So turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. buckle your seatbelt. Oh, your seat Hallelujah. Before I come up, I'll, as we do at the way I usually bring in a song and then he'll come on up, okay? Is that all right? Is that all right? All right, girls. Thank you, Lord.
welcome Pastor Antoine L. Miller of the Wake Christian Church of Stockton, California. He is here to bless us all today. Hallelujah. Pastoral bound. 